let's talk about one that this disk, this is a very efficient use of disk space. That means that we can get 98% utilization out of the disk. And because we can store in many different formats from, you know, copies or replication, which people typically call it, uh, and let's use, you know, there's three copies of something that represents storage. That's one way. Or the other way we can do it is, is like RAID, using erasure coding. We can break it down, slice it up, and we can make it into smaller pieces and we can save some of the disk overhead. And uh, as a result, we can be pretty efficient, we can be very efficient with the disk space. So we've looked at a few things which are encryption, dedupe, and compression. So from an encryption point of view, uh, we would rather that the application manage the encryption of the data because that's their key. They can manage their keys. They can manage their data. There's no reason for us to do that. And the other thing within our system is this is a, uh, this is a what would you call it? It's an appliance. It's a black box. You can't actually log into it, go look at a disk, and pull up a file. And in fact, you can't even be guaranteed that this, this is this on this place in the disk an hour from now, because if it thinks for some reason you add a new node and there's a better place to push it, it's just going to put it there in the background for you and automatically relevel your cluster for you. You don't have to go do any of that work. So even if you find a copy and you try and corrupt it, say say there's three copies, you corrupt it, the other two may be moving around and by the time you get around to trying to change one of the Ds, it's going to come back and, and fix this for you anyways. And I had a vendor do that. They went off and tested it. They said every time I deleted the first one, tried to change the second one had already fixed the first one for me. And these are moving around from node to node. So you can't find them, you can't log into it, you can only talk to it through HTTP and SNMP. So there's no way to really corrupt the box without physically pulling the disk. And if you pull the disk, it's going to make another copy of the data anyways for you. So if you want to encrypt it, that's really kind of your thing, right? How, what you want to do with your data. From a dedupe point of view, uh, you know, deduping puts data into a representation. Well, there's a couple of things about dedupe. Dedupe is actually fairly expensive and underestimated. So you have to actually have all the CPU cycles and the time and be willing to put up with the latency associated with the dedupe and putting it together. It also breaks your data apart into little tiny parts. So in dedupe, it'll take a, a, some, a file and it'll break it up into the, all these little parts and then it'll describe the file by saying how many of each one of these it has in some description. Well, if you lose one of these, you lose lots of files potentially. And so dedupe is actually a great way to lose your data. It also doesn't always map to the application's utilization. So if an application wants to hit a bunch of data and get it really quick, it may or may not work. So your choice of, if you want to dedupe your own data inside this, great, go ahead and for it. But again, we don't, we don't do that. We're very efficient with disk utilization. And if you can use an erasure coded format, it gets so efficient that it's not really worth the CPU costs to actually dedupe and dedupe. You, people don't realize the costs of that are in heat and electricity and space and CPU is significant, okay? And from the compression point of view, we actually, you can easily do compression in line with this. So you could easily use PKZip, compress it in line, and then read the same object through a browser and it would decompress. So that, you know, we leave the flexibility about how you want to dedupe, compress, or how you want to encrypt really to how the application wants to do it rather than putting it into the realm of your data. And we just spend the time managing this efficiently and automatically managing your space and not allowing that uh, to add additional overhead to your file system.